just the person I was looking for. What are you doing at SmackDown, let alone in here? Just popped over for a chat. Wondering why you were avoiding facing me in the ring. Haven't heard from you since you bailed on our match. I didn't bail. Ava attacked me. Well, it seems like that problem is solved now, doesn't it? Vehicular shenanigans and all. So what's the holdup? You're not too nervous to face me? Nervous? Yeah, right. But what's your angle here? Not like you to be so insistent about rescheduling a match. Let's just say that after you got distracted, there was an unhealthy amount of incorrect internet chatter about who would have won our matchup. I would simply like to set the record straight. I'm ready whenever you are. Although, I'm not sure you'll be happy with what the internet has to say after I win. I don't intend to see that eventuality. It's the second generation superstar who's here to write her own story. The following is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring. From Newcastle upon Tyne, England, L. This is a match that folks have been clamoring for, and they are excited to finally get it. So you need to have the match of your life. Charlotte has all the natural talent in the world. She's done it all. So you got to be at 100% to beat her. One win will change it all for her career. We are about to bear witness to the queen. Listen, here is a truly generational talent. There's no doubt about that. And from the Queen City, Charlotte Flair. She is a game changer, a trailblazer, and perhaps the greatest woman to ever set foot in a WWE ring. And with all of Charlotte's accomplishments, some say she's already a living legend. She's had a rivalries with Lynch and Rousey and revolutionized the industry. When your last name is Flair, competing is like breathing. And the Queen has built an empire. No false bravado, always personal, always physical. Yeah, and always maintaining supreme confidence and savage ferocity. Charlotte Flair proudly pulls the strings as the puppet master of the women's division and will gladly accept anyone who will bow down. She created her own divine right as the queen and intends to cause great pain and suffering to her opposition. You just can't game plan for this type of brilliance. This match feels like it's been months in the making after a previously scheduled contest was called off after an outside attack. Keep your eyes on the ring and your ears open for idling cars. Well, I'm sure Charlotte wants to send a message tonight to her fellow legacy superstar. That's always good news for us. Uh-oh, Dragon Sleeper applied. This could be it. Trouble, in trouble. Tap out, she's got to tap. Showing the world just how much fight she's got left. Fed's press takes him down. And we just 
just saw some serious offense. She hit the corner hard. Vicious shoulder tackle in the corner. Oh, a power bomb like that will leave you with bruises and remind you of this moment for days. Oh, man, by the hair. Hair whip. I don't think people realize the amount of strength it takes to hurl someone like that. Oh, man, face buster. Into the pin attack. She just shocked everyone in the ring. And a, oh, the hair and dropping the hair too goes down low. What are we about to see here? Cross legged DDT, an overbearing assault on Charlotte. Now, Charlotte's got to find a way to put her best foot forward here. Punch. She wants to finish this. Nice go behind. Up across the shoulders. That might topple the queen. Cover. Two count. Kick out. Thought that was the end of her. You come at Charlotte Flair, you take your best shot. But the queen isn't looking to relinquish her crown anytime soon. Blast off. Oh, big high on that move, And she's in total control. Maintain the aggressive. This started as a match. Now it's a test of will. Can she shut the door on this one? Two! Kick out. I thought it was finished off for sure. It's not often Charlotte comes that close to defeat. You have to think the temperature of this match has just been turned up a notch. Big maneuver executed perfectly, but still was not enough. Ah, what a smash! That is just insulting. Ah, the knee right to the face. And this has got to be it! She fights her shoulder up before one. She kicked out there, but I don't know how much more she can take. A four. Looking to end this. The score boy! Got the shoulder up at the last possible moment. She's not worried about this crowd. She's not going to let them phase her one bit. I love this. One of my favorite moves of all time. The modified surfboard's locked in. And we see the attention being put on the torso area. Puncher set up in the corner. Loving blow. Oh, going right after the eyes. Come on. A simple eye gouge. That's not legal. She's got it. Got her shoulders down. And kicks out before the reps count. It's unthinkable. Someone beating the one count at this point? On the knee right to the face. 
She's feeling the hurt here. Punching their way out of that one. She's filled them. This is certainly a strong step in fulfilling those immense expectations. That'll knock Charlotte down a peg or two. I think so, too. Come on, let's go! You hear her complain about how that loss was unfair? Grow up, Charlotte. I don't want to hear whatever excuses you might have. I gave you the match you asked for, and I beat you. As much as it pains me to admit it, I will give credit where credit is due. You were better than I expected. Thanks? But can you blame me for underestimating you? I thought I was facing the same woman who absolutely choked on her nepotism-fueled debut at Survivor Series. That's the only reason I lost. Ah, here come the excuses. Will you shut up? I'm trying to compliment you. Am I mad you beat me? Yes. But I also see now it isn't nepotism that got you to where you are, it's talent. I know what it's like to be misjudged based on who you're related to. So I thought I owed it to you to say that. Is this actually an apology? Don't push your luck. And if you tell anyone I said those things, I'll deny it. But seeing as you're obviously talented enough to beat me, even if I had let my guard down, I was wondering if you might be interested in going to war with me. What do you mean? War games. Ronda Rousey put a team together and singled me out. I'm building my own team to take her on. Who do you have so far? Hopefully you. But after what I saw in the ring, I can't think of a better place to start. You in? Actually, yes. I am. Wow. Sure didn't think a couple of days ago we'd be teaming up. Neither did I. Actually, since I wasn't expecting to build a team with you, and I clearly haven't seen enough of your matches, it might be helpful to watch you in action against a few people. It'll help me figure out how to balance your talents to build an unstoppable team. Put me on the team and it's automatically unstoppable. But sure, why not? There's a local wrestler I'm trouncing on the next SmackDown if you want to stick around for that. Good enough place to start? This wrestler grew up in the business and now she's growing up before our very eyes. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Newcastle upon Tyne, England, L. Given her history and ability, it's hard not to expect big things from this superstar. It's not that hard, Saxton. Potential means nothing compared to results. Let's see if she can get those. This second generation superstar looks to finish on top in this one. She's small in stature only. It's La Congra Hida Loca. And from Monterey, Mexico, La Congra Hida Loca. Gentlemen, I think this one's going to turn into a fight in a hurry, and I cannot wait.
La Congrejita Loca has a bounce in her step tonight. This should be special, folks. A relatively untested superstar in WWE. She has made big waves since landing here. She's made it rough water for all the other superstars in the women's division. Rocking the boat could lead you to capsizing, though. Certainly a dangerous game she's been playing, ruffling the feathers of anyone that crosses her path. It seems to me like Berman is ready for what will likely be an amazing match. to the back of the neck. Oh, no mercy behind that forearm. Oh, straight forearm. Things taking a turn for her now. Oh, my God. Wow, what a move. Don't be surprised if they're seeing little cartoon birds after that one, gentlemen. You can tell she wants to put an end to this. is getting picked apart right now. La Loca needs to be resourceful in this situation. Goes down low. What are we about to see here? Cross-legged DDT. What's coming next? A back suplex. Vicious forearm right in the skull. What do they have in store for their opponent now? Back to their feet. And they... She's about to rise up to something catastrophic. Nice go behind. Up across the shoulders. Into the glory bomb. Well, Lucas got to dig deep now. Two. And this one is over. Here is your winner. No other way to put it, guys. That was kind of a butt kicking. As always, Cole, you're more polite than I am, so I'll just say what we're all thinking. This was as one-sided as it gets. Get ready for one of WWE's most eye-popping athletes. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring, accompanied by Charlotte Flair from Newcastle upon Tyne, England, L. The WWE Universe already reaching a fever pitch upon their arrival, and we are just seconds away from a highly anticipated match. This superstar looks ready to make a statement. The one and only Odyssey Rift. And from Amarillo, Texas, Odyssey Rift. All these superstars come into this match incredibly hungry to prove their dominance. I can't wait to see what unfolds.
Can you feel that? The energy is always electric when Odyssey Rift is here. Last time we saw these two, they were on opposite sides of the ring. Tonight, they're in the same corner. Talent recognizes talent, Michael. It's as simple as that. Don't be naive, Saxton. Charlotte recognizes what's best for Charlotte. And the week from the top. Penny predicament. Two. And she's able to power out after two. Well, that might have been closer than she thought it would be. see here off the second row oh into a guillotine this is what you call sky high this mistake there for oh, she knows that now <laughs> no that clothesline hurt holding on for more than a second i say the third time's the charm Will that be the case? Ah, oh, targeting the arm. This has got to hurt. Trying to take away that grip, that range of motion on that end. Ooh, she just turned it around. Right hand after right hand. This is ugly. Jarring European uppercut. Oh, kick to the kidneys. It's the DeVille combo, Saxton. She's on unsteady legs in the corner. Needs to recover. Oh, another oh, one for good measure. Acrobatics like that take a tremendous amount of cardio and strength. Close line. Off with their head. And now she's gained command of this one. She's fighting hard, and it is paying off. She's showing it's not a time. We got a cover. And she kicks out right away. Amazing effort by her. Way to steer clear. Just driven into the mat. Hoisting their opponent back to their feet. She's getting back to her feet, but is there fight left? Nice go behind, up across the shoulders, into the glory bomb. What a great move. Looking for the victory. Two. It's over. All oh, in a nice work. Here is your winner, L. This was as dominant a win as I've ever seen, guys. That's why they call it light work, Cole. Barely even broke a sweat. Well, you certainly seem to know how to dominate in the ring. Well, that's the idea, right? I mean, it helps that those two wrestlers are still finding their footing. Though I'd look just as dominant against a more seasoned opponent. Speaking of which, who's next? Nobody. I've seen enough. I know exactly who we should team up with. I'm all ears. The two women you just defeated. What? Why would we partner with wrestlers who couldn't even give me any more of a challenge? To go up against Ronda Rousey and her team? You cannot tell me there aren't better choices. And after watching you in the ring, you cannot tell me that we need the help. Look, I understand it sounds crazy, but we do this, it'll be clear that it's the two of us pulling the weight on the team. And no one will underestimate either of us for being products of nepotism. We'll be the two women who won war games on their own two feet, with only local talent to help them. It is pretty ballsy. You really think it's a good idea? Do you really think I'd set us up to fail? We've already got two alphas. We don't need more. I guess not. 
Great. Then let's make this official. And since you and I are going to be doing a lot of the heavy lifting, we should have a tag match against a couple of members of Rhonda's team, just to see how we work together. Just two? Might as well take on all four since that's basically what you're signing us up to do. Trust me, this is all going to work out. It's the superstar who's driven to live up to all the hype. The following contest is a handicap match. Introducing first, from Newcastle upon Tyne, England, L. This young superstar really is the complete package. She's got power, determination, grace. Apparently dirt on you, Saxton. Give it a rest. She still has a lot to prove. This second generation superstar looks to finish on top in this one. She is a woman who is here to take control. And their opponents, first, representing damage control from San Jose, California, Bailey. You know, Bailey claims that she's the one that built the women's division. It's a claim Bailey has every right to make. She's the longest reigning SmackDown women's champion in history at 379 days. Listen, Bailey couldn't be more aggressive. She couldn't be more vicious. And she claims she's a role model for all the women in WWE. I can't believe Bailey has gone so far as to shave the name of her rival in the back of her head. Who does that? Well, those of us that have hair to work with Saxton generally try to do mind games like that. Maybe we can get you a dry erase board for your head. the incredible resume of Raquel Rodriguez. In her first three years, she's been an NXT Women's Tag Team Champion, a Dusty Rhodes Classic winner, an NXT Women's Champion, and a WWE Women's Tag Team Champion. The personification of dominance in NXT and WWE since day one. Yeah, I think we can all agree that Raquel Rodriguez is getting better with every match. Even when she makes short work of her opponent. A War Games preview tag match has turned into anything but as Charlotte Flair has abandoned her partner to face two formidable superstars on her own. There's a number of possible explanations, Michael. She could be sick or maybe have car problems. She's looking at it early. And there's the kick out. Just not enough damage done yet, Cole. And that prevents Bailey's attack. Cut off with a kick to the gut. We've seen some great chemistry from this team here, Michael. Yeah, incredible chemistry. Boom! Beautiful teamwork. When you see a unit as aligned as they are, it's really incredible. Right hand after right hand. This is ugly. Our 
arm sister. Look at these vicious kicks to the jaw. Set up in the corner of the ring. No respect at all with that action. But it could also be meant to antagonize. Could be a method of luring your opponent into a mistake. And a drop kick. Picture perfect. Ooh, she responds with a counter. Ooh, takedown. Skull first. Oh, man, by the hair. Air whip. It might not be flashy, but sometimes you just got to toss another person and make a statement. Dark matter. Drop kick. Beautiful. And Raquel's resolve might be wavering here. Nice go behind. Up across the shoulder. Does that finish Bailey off? Saw that coming. Oh, 
the springboard, sidekick, and drop that right through the ropes to the floor. She'll need some serious recovery time after this. Yeah, she's looking drained, Cole. I don't know how much is even left in her. She's up against wrestlers, whispers, and memories. And tonight, you could say she yeah. beat all three. Absolutely. That's the kind of win that can catapult you to bigger and better things. Oh, hey there. What's up? What the hell, Charlotte? Where were you for our match? You haven't figured it out? Knock, knock, hello. I set you up and you fell for it. What? My let's prove we can stand on our own two feet speech was pretty convincing, huh? I was right, you are naive. No way am I letting someone like you take my place at the top. And when you and your team of misfits fall to Ronda, the WWE Universe will see how weak you are. You're backing out of war games? Oh, I didn't say that. Raquel Rodriguez has a sore, I don't know, let's say back. So I'm switching sides and filling in for her. Rhonda and I have a complicated history, but I respect her way more than you. Management won't let you do that. Yeah, right. Like WWE doesn't just eat up this kind of drama. It's already done. Fine but I know you've made more than enough enemies to make it easy for me to find a fourth member of my team. I'm insulted. You think I would leave you in the lurch like that? I already told management you found one. Fanny will be happy to fill in. Good luck, baby Justine. Your team is really going to need it. The following is a women's war! are as follows. Two teams will be contained in separate cages with one member of each team starting the match. At regular intervals, alternating members from each team will be released to enter the match. The team with the advantage will be the first to have a member released into the match. Once all competitors have entered, War Games officially begins. The match can be won by pinfall or submission. Exiting the cage will result in a forfeit. Now, let the war games begin! It's the second generation superstar who's here to write her own story. Introducing first, from Newcastle upon Tyne, England, Elle. Guys, she's really calm in the face of this imposing structure. I guess that's because she knows that help's on the way. But the question is, can she weather the storm and keep from being overwhelmed by the opposing team's starting member before backup arrives? Absolutely she can. You don't sign up for war games unless your mind, body, and soul are prepared. And I believe not only is she prepared, but the gods have favored her in battle tonight with the war games advantage. All hail, 
The Queen. And from the Queen City, Charlotte Flair. You need to be ready for anything at WWE, but nobody is really ever ready for war games. When this match got signed, she didn't know her team would face the numbers game. She also didn't know she'd be in first and would have to face two competitors on her own. Well, we have seen her successful in WWE thus far, but this, this is the ultimate test. It's not a fair situation, but we all know all is fair in love and war games. What do you know about love? A thing or two. Is fair and love and war, and Charlotte Flair has definitely put that to the test here tonight, completely manipulating the women's division into a favorable matchup here at War Games. Well, there will be a giant asterisk next to this victory for sure, assuming Charlotte's team prevails. There's no asterisk. A win is a win. Mind games are as much a part of wrestling as what happens in the ring. Quay changes the direction of that one. Reversal after reversal, proving they did their homework. Another reversal, eye for an eye here. Well scattered reversal there. Finds the advantage after a string of counters. Oh, clearly no desire to wait for the bell between these competitors. They are taking it to dangerous territory and war is heating up. Down, skull first. Oh, oh, kick connects. Into the corner now. Oh, another oh, one for good measure. It's incredible the inventiveness we are seeing. Lock in the dragon sleeper. This won't win the match, but it's doing a lot of damage. Process, gentlemen. Oh, the win. Just how much fight she's got left. Looking to give her team an advantage in more ways than one. <laughs> Tremendous series of kicks. <laughs> Searching under the ring now. This can't be good. Giving her team the numbers advantage and bringing a bit of backup into the ring. Emphatic fall away there. Adding some extra spice to the numbers advantage by coming in arm to the teeth. And a rough landing, but she'll get some space in the other ring. And I don't like it, but in war games, a one-sided brawl is all perfectly legal. Strategy going on there with the attention on the leg. Kendo stick to the skull. Ooh, man. And she gets herself out of a precarious position. And nice head scissors takedown. Swinging neck breaker. Mere seconds away from evening the odds in war games. And they just busted out. And here we go. They're on a mission to save the day and won't be stopped. She's saying, you want it? Come and get it. Flair moved at the right time. Back elbow. Blows that one. This new entrant really has the potential to change the complexion of his body. to their advantage. Brutal double stomp in the corner. Oh, the sledgehammer connects. That'll scramble your insides. 
Oh, she has bad intentions now. Removing the turnbuckle pad. Any one of these attacks could cause irreparable damage, but I don't think you could come back from this many. Escape just in time. Superb awareness countering Rousey. She manages to get control. Golly, that sounded rough. I love this. Backbreaker. She gets launched all the way to the other ring. The count has started, and one team is about to have the odds in their favor. Compromised position here. I guarantee she didn't see that coming. Yeah, but to introduce a table into a match, we are all waiting for the inevitable to happen. Drop toe hold. And entering into an absolute war zone, giving the troops the boost they need. Side slam. She was clearly waiting for that. idea one bit. No good reason to be climbing here. Being contorted doesn't look good. <laughs> Insult to injury. What a Charlotte Ray laser. Right across the lats. <laughs> and she got sent forward into the opposite way. Into the glory bomb. Rousey was not ready for that. It could be over. Oh, man. Look at these shots. Out of the cage and rushing in to erase the numbers advantage. Hoping to give their squad some relief. Nice standing backbreaker and takedown. For someone who claims not to care about the idiots in the crowd, Bailey sure spending a lot of time trying to get a reaction out of them right now. as effective as her opponent. She is in a jam now. Oh, is that flying? Not so fast. And she will climb the cage. Not the smartest of ideas. Double knees roll through. We're not done yet. Face first for the waistline takedown. Hit the rope. She's starting to climb up the wall of the cage. Force on that move. Only seconds away from giving their team the numbers advantage. And that definitely made solid impact. Able to reverse that one. And that was an effective attack, guys. Free from the cage and heading toward the ring to give them time. And the win. The guillotine is locked in. And this won't win the match. at the local medical facility. Any superplex. Giving her team the advantage, but she's looking for her own advantage now. And that was taking the attack to the competition with that one. Oh, the sledgehammer picks. That was scrapping her insides. Dodges out of the way. Things could get ugly now as they head inside the cage. Uh-oh. A back suplex. Competitor has such a deep arsenal, we're really about to see more. Oh, impressive reversal there. Ascending the War Games cage, no idea what her plan can be.
injured attack. She must have her pilot's license because she went flying into the other ring. And that Whoa! has officially begun. The cage is locked for the last time. It's more. Charlotte going for the figure four. What she wants to do, she can push out for the figure one. This one's over. Locked in tight. Charlotte. And there's the save. Oh, 
some trouble here. And that's another focused attack on Kusuer. That was a hell of a maneuver there, guys. She's got him for it. She is not done yet. And well-timed maneuver there. Great, great. You see, yep, looking for the submission. teams tonight but congratulations are in order here it's a rare privilege just to compete in a war games match so to win one must be an amazing feeling bravo to this team it took incredible fortitude to get the job done tonight